you are ashamed of your culture, right? You are. But deep down, you don't want to be ashamed of your culture. You don't want that. So let me give you five ways, five tips that will help you to not be ashamed of your culture. All right? You're watching Cray TV. I'm Cray San. Let's get started with this video. First of all, get to know the best places in your country, of your culture. The best places, the, the touristic places, the places where people would want to go and actively see what's going on, take photos, have good lasting memories in those places. Get to know those places. If you don't know it, it's called research. I am certain that every culture, every country, despite what we see of it, has that beauty factor somewhere in another place in another city perhaps make sure that you do know of those places just looking at them just seeing that will really change the way that you think and look and and imagine your own culture your own country there is no perfect culture Please be in comfort knowing that. Every culture has its beef. Every culture has its issues, its problems, its ups and downs. So there is no perfect culture. So if you're ashamed of your culture, you're thinking to yourself, let me go to another culture. Maybe that other culture is much better. Guess what? You're in for a rowdy road. You know what? Your, your culture is not the only one under the water right now, okay? It happens to everyone. It's just that certain people experience the worst of their culture at a different time than your culture. But it doesn't mean that they never experience it or that they will not experience it. Ooh, I don't know, okay? <laughs> who are straight from your country, from your culture, who are still very infatuated with your country, with the way things work, who just love your country, who just love your culture, and who also are very similar to you. You know, people who have the same interests as you, but also have a strong love for their culture. Trust me, joy, love, peace, happiness, all that is contagious, but you gotta be amongst it. If you're not amongst it, obviously you're not gonna gain that. You're not gonna think that way. Your speech, the words you say, the words you utter are very important about your country, about your culture. Be positive about it. I know you've heard it so many times. Positive vibes only, you know, positive, be positive, blah, blah, blah. But it's so efficient. It's, it's very, very effective, okay, for you to be positive about your country. Speak life into your culture. Speak what you want to see, okay? Please. And lastly, be active about what you want to do. Be purposeful about your culture. Do something for it. Don't just sit there complaining about it. Don't just sit there just looking sad about it, not envisioning anything greater for it. Join a club, join a community, join a project, be a part of something, give monetarily, give of your physical, of your abilities, of your talent, of your business. Give, make sure that you are purposeful in action. Listen, problems don't go away, okay? It's people who give up. Problems don't go away, it's only people who give up. So don't be the one who will give up. Someone say that they were given two, two rules. The first one, two rules to live by in life. The first one, don't give up. And the second one, do not do, do not not do the first one. <laughs> Don't give up. And the second one, do not not do the first one. <laughs> if this video helped you out, make sure that you share it with someone. Don't just keep this information to yourself. Share it with someone. Share it with someone whom you know might be ashamed of their culture, whatever culture it is. All right? And make sure you like the video if it is something that really helped you out. 
otherwise thank you so much for watching you're on cray tv and make sure that you subscribe to the youtube channel make sure that you follow me on instagram as well and cray tv is also on facebook thank you so much for watching see y'all next time bye